Alcohol withdrawal syndrome is a medical condition that can become life-threatening following a sudden reduction or cessation of alcohol consumption in individuals who have developed alcohol use disorder. The severity of the syndrome is directly related to the extent and duration of alcohol dependence. Stages of withdrawal Mild withdrawal Six to eight hours after the last drink Mild alcohol withdrawal typically begins within six to eight hours after the last drink. Symptoms include anxiety, difficulty sleeping, involuntary shaking, excessive sweating, heart palpitations, and digestive disturbances. During this stage, the patient's awareness and orientation remain unaffected. Alcohol withdrawal seizures 12 to 24 hours Seizures associated with alcohol withdrawal can occur between 12 and 24 hours after the last drink. These seizures are generalized and tonic-clonic in nature and may occur as single episodes or as multiple events. Alcohol hallucinosis 12 to 48 hours Alcohol hallucinosis presents between 12 and 48 hours after cessation of alcohol use. Patients may experience visual or tactile hallucinations, but they remain oriented and their vital signs are generally stable. About one-third of individuals in this stage may progress to delirium tremens. Delirium tremens. Three to five days, potentially lasting up to eight days. Delirium tremens typically occurs between three and five days after the last drink but it may extend up to eight days in some cases. Symptoms include confusion, agitation, fever, rapid heart rate, elevated blood pressure, excessive sweating, and hallucinations. This stage represents a serious and potentially fatal complication of alcohol withdrawal. Diagnosis and Evaluation The diagnosis of alcohol withdrawal syndrome is primarily clinical, based on the patient's history and physical examination findings. Laboratory tests do not directly confirm the condition, but are valuable for excluding other potential causes of the symptoms. Important components of the evaluation include a comprehensive metabolic panel to assess electrolyte imbalances and liver function, screening for deficiencies such as low magnesium or potassium levels, an electrocardiogram if there is concern about cardiac stress or abnormalities, Management strategies. Prompt recognition and appropriate treatment are essential to avoid progression to severe withdrawal symptoms. First-line treatment involves the use of benzodiazepines administered based on the severity of symptoms. For example, patients showing significant symptoms may require doses as high as 30 mg of intravenous diazepam within the first hour. For cases resistant to initial therapy, additional treatments such as phenobarbital, or propofol may be considered. Disposition. The decision regarding patient admission depends on the clinical severity, any coexisting medical conditions, and the availability of social support. Patients with mild symptoms who are fully treated and stabilized can be safely discharged. However, admission to an intensive care unit is required for patients who experience severe altered mental status, recurrent seizures, or resistance to benzodiazepine therapy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.